Hey yo, peace everybody, what's good? It's your man, the big homie, Big Mike, checking in, Real Talk TV. Alright man, so real quick, before I get into my topic, I want to say thank you to my new subscribers, man. Those of y'all who've been supporting the channel, uh, like the videos, comment, let me know what y'all thought. I appreciate y'all a great deal. Okay, and uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button right there at the corner. Boom, hit that subscribe button, give y'all a second to do that. Alright, so now that you subscribe, thanks and welcome to my family. I appreciate you, love you, and uh, yeah, continue to support your boy, man. As I reach 1,000, I'm going to be doing another giveaway that I did when I reach, uh, like I did when I reached 500. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. It's going to be even better than the last one, you feel me? So make sure you support, and you might have a chance to win. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to get right into my topic, man. Uh, as I reflect and I think a lot on where I am now in my life and, you know, the person I used to be and the person I've ultimately become that I want to become, you know, even beyond here, I think about how I was when I was lacking confidence in myself, man. And, you know, to think of the, the journey, to contemplate the journey that I've had from not being confident at all to growing in confidence and being where I am today, you know, and... I attribute that to just time, you know, God, you know, time, uh, and just accomplishing small tasks, man. You know, when you accomplish small tasks, you know, over time, that gives you confidence to want to take on bigger things. And as you accomplish those, that gives you more confidence that you can actually achieve something, you know. Because when you are fed a lot of negative reinforcement as a child, that has a profound impact on you, you know, a very profound impact on you. Uh, you can grow up damage, you know, not believing in yourself, not having confidence. And that's one thing that I dealt with, you know, I dealt with that. And I know I'm not the only one out there. A lot of us even today struggle with self-confidence. I mean, look at women, women, not all women, but you can tell the women on social media who struggle with self-confidence because they posting nude pics of themselves all day. So in order to get that dopamine hit, in order to get that boost of confidence that they need to feel like they are worthy, they take these pictures and looking for approval on social media. Now, the ones who aren't doing that, the ones who dress conservative and, you know, or whatnot, not taking booty pics, not looking for that type of attention, you can tell they are the confident ones. You know, they're confident in themselves. And that just all comes from upbringing. That comes from what you're fed as a child, man. You know, a lot of times when you, when you are lacking that, that assurance about yourself, when you're lacking the confidence about yourself, it's usually because no one in your formative years have given you that confidence, have taught you that confidence, have boosted your confidence. And so you look forward somewhere. And uh, I look forward in other, other areas that I shouldn't have looked for when I was young. And when I, as I got older and more mature, I'm, I'm realizing that, wow, man, like, you know, I'm not, you know, the person I want to be, X, Y, Z. And I start working on my confidence. And how I, like I said before, how I started working on my confidence is just by accomplishing small things. That as I went over time, you know, it made me want to accomplish even greater tasks and that just boosted my confidence all the more. So, and I know a lot of y'all may have been through very discouraging times with family members or maybe people close to you who said things to you. And that's the thing about words, man. Words have a very, words hurt, man. That that whole that whole saying, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words that that that's bullshit. Like words hurt, man. Sticks and stones my ass. That words hurt. Because they you they you hold you hold those words forever. Physically, a physical pain physical pain, your body heals, you get over that. Might have a scar, but you you mean your body heals, you get over it. Words words damage you for a long time. They can damage you for a long time. That's why you got to be very careful what you say to people, man. Especially if you're not going to be positive. You got to be very selective in what you say to people if it's not going to be something good. And and, and also, I want to just make this one point. I'm going to get on up out of here. I don't want to keep you guys too long. Think about this, man. Anybody who ever discouraged you or tried to discourage you when you were young, how do they know who you are? And I say that meaning when Michael Jordan was born, his parents had no idea he was going to be Michael Jordan. No idea. He was going to be the greatest basketball player to ever live. When Muhammad Ali was born, 
His parents had no idea he was going to be Muhammad Ali or the greatest. He was born Cassius Clay. They probably expected him to just be a regular middle class black man that just worked a regular job, had a family, and that was it. They expect him to be Muhammad Ali. They didn't know he was going to ultimately become that. So how, is the, how does anybody know what you're going to ultimately become? You have a gift. We all have a gift. I truly believe we all have gifts that we can use. Some great, some small, but we all have something that we can do. Like God would be remiss in making somebody without any type of talent at all. Like somebody, we all have different types of talent, different levels of talent, but we all got something that we can do that can earn us money. Even if it's good at, you might be good at construction. You might be good at, I don't know, um, it can be whatever. You can be good at whatever. You know, it, it may not be considered like millionaire talent, but we all have something that we can do to help us survive. All of us do. You just got to discover what that is. And a lot of times that gets darkened by people who say things to you that just damage that confidence for you to believe you have a gift. You know, some of us can get so discouraged that we believe we're actually worthless. Now, that's a dangerous place to be. Do not sit there and think you're worthless because of what somebody said to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they only speaking to you that way because they don't love themselves. Anybody who loves themselves don't talk to people like that. Anybody who got peace and love in their heart don't talk to people like that. So to talk to somebody else that way, you have to be a damaged person yourself. So why sit there and take the words, take in the words of damaged people? People who say discouraging things to you, that's because they don't believe in themselves. So how are they going to believe in you if they don't believe in themselves? How are they going to love you if they don't love themselves? That's why you shouldn't take, that's why you should take what they say with a grain of salt, man. Just whatever. Just be like, all right, cool. That's what you feel? All right, keep it moving. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you possess, man. So quit letting them tell you who you are. Don't let them tell you who you are. Find out who you are on your own. You find out and, and listen to what God say about you and not what these people say about you, man. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you got. You think the people in Jesus' town knew he was going to be the savior of all mankind? And he was born? You think they knew he was going to, you think they really think he was going to become that? Maybe a few people did, you know. But for the most part, they didn't know that. They didn't know he was going to be you know, what, what, what he ultimately became. So don't let anybody tell you who you are, man. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. You know, continue to, to continue to grind. If you're going through that right now, man, continue to grind, continue to prove them wrong and let them know that they don't know you. They may think they know you, but they don't really know you. Anyway, that's all I got, man. This is your boy, the big homie, Big Mike checking out. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, man. Show, show your boy some love. Like the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your story. I'll holler at y'all. Until next time. Peace.